Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the moment. I am amongst the flowers here at Epcot for their Flower and Garden Festival. We're back. We keep coming back because there's so much food to try out and today we are actually going to try out a few new items and they also have, uh, we just found out, a creamsicle milkshake that we're going to try out and let you guys know what we think and just enjoy Epcot. So thank you for checking out the video. We hope you enjoy. So let's get to it. I'm getting hungry, so let's go eat some food. Let's do it. Seeing as it's Flower and Garden, I had to start with some beautiful flowers. And speaking of beautiful flowers. Hi guys, welcome. Queen Bee's in the house. And it was her idea. She was like, I found some new items that we're gonna try out today. Definitely, I can't wait to try the drink. And also we have to try the avocado toast. We try it every year. Love the avocado toast. And it has some cinnamon with something on top that you're gonna like. It's gonna be magic, I know, it's gonna be magic. All right, let's go eat, let's go do it. The location of said wonderful food that we're going to try, hopefully it's wonderful, is Brunch Con. This is over near the Test Track area, very loud in Queen. She has found pictures for us to check out. So they have the avocado toast. With marinated tomatoes and plant-based cheese crumbles on toasted ciabatta. And this is the one that is going to be amazing. It's the fried cinnamon roll bites with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon. Yummy. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try this out. So let's go get it and we'll sit down and, uh, and feast away, right? Here they are. Look at that avocado toast. It's good every year. It doesn't look like they changed it up that much, if, if any. I don't think they did at all. And look at these little guys. The cinnamon bite things with the bacon on it and both of these together were eleven dollars that's pretty good amount i gotta that's say for the good. cinnamon Not bites many. right so it's like a little crustini like the bread it's crunchy which i like the, tom the heirloom tomatoes oh i'm all about this avocado toast here we go oh it sounds so good mm. i'm telling you it's so delicious, just like last year. Um, and this is a really um, refreshing like snack or whatever in the park. Today's pretty hot yeah, and it is so refreshing. It's the cheese. And I forget what these are, but I'm just gonna eat it. Eat your vegetables. I don't know what it was, but it was good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I highly recommend. This was six dollars. The other one was five. Um, my gosh, I, I never knew I'd be that guy that was like, "Oh my gosh, you gotta try the avocado right, toast." My avocado toast was really good. It really is. Um, no. We kind of already knew, but I wanted to see if they changed anything up. Doesn't really taste like they did. And look at this. We got some bacon. I'm just gonna try the candy bacon right away. Right away. Drew is not messing around. He goes straight for the bacon. Mmm, so delicious. That is so delicious. I love it. Is that a monorail? <laughs> I had to do it just one time in this video. All, All right, right. Yeah. so here you we go. A little bit of everything. I got a little bacon on there, a little bit of the, um, uh, you know, the cream cheese frosting. So Those get, are delightful. You get like six of them. Oh my, oh what? No way. It's... Look inside. Check that out. You got the, the cinnamon roll like brown sugar and oh my gosh. Wow. I'm, go, I'm gonna go out this, this whole thing. I need to do it. Six dollars for that, yes, no bad. This is heavenly, no for real. This is fantastic. And just adding the bacon, that's like the quote unquote cherry on top. Mm. Both of these. Great combo. These are delicious. Oh. High five. So delicious. Guys, you gotta get them. Get down here and get them before they're gone. But no joke, those cinnamon rolls, I'm not even exaggerating, they were fantastic. And they were like $5. You can't beat that for five bucks, man. Highly recommend them. Uh, but we're going to head over to the land pavilion because uh, I want to check out if any, uh, you know, growth on the land 
living with a land ride. I want to see if they have like bananas growing and stuff like that. And also, that is where we're going to find the orange creamsicle milkshake Ooh. that we're going to get. Yeah. You that excited about that? Is. That's well, where that's it is. That's that. what I read. That's where I read. And look, Figment wants to come, but he's got to stay here for pictures. He's got to stay here for pictures. Well, let's go over to the land and have some fun. And look. These ladies do a phenomenal job. It's a new acrobatic type thing over here. Let's go check it out for a second. Seriously, this is a new thing that they have here at Epcot and it is phenomenal. Now, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. That is such a cool show. It is called The Forces of Nature. It's new here in Epcot, and it's like performance art with like acrobats and stuff. It, really, really cool. Really, uh, the music's great. You need to sit down for a little bit and enjoy it. I, I actually really think it's a, a good addition to, uh, to Epcot, you know what I mean? But uh, all right, anyway, we, it was like a squirrel moment. Now we're really gonna head over to the Land Pavilion and uh, and check out Living with the Land and grab that orange creamsicle milkshake. We're not gonna we're not gonna hold you guys hostage any longer. We're going. And look, it's like a ten for zen here at the Land. And here we are in the Land Pavilion, and that is our destination, Living with the Land. And it looks like a little bit of a line today. Fifteen minute wait, but still that's still not bad. But that's actually a lot for Living with the Land. 
Yeah, we go. Let's see what's new to and us growing. To these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. <laughs> Look at the little pineapple right living laboratory pineapple. where scientists from Epcot That's and the awesome. U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now. And we got papayas. Look at the papayas. Wow. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, papaya, and rice, are well known around the world. One of my favorite areas, right here. These are just a few of the edible plants that Very are an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, Thrive in wet swampy wow. areas. Look at the edible flower All garden, guys. Look at that big flower petals. Are edible. The big flower. The look at that. The plant has long been used to make flour for baking. I don't see any uh, bananas One, yet. Many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. Always cool to see the fish. Got some tilapia right here. Look at that. And then some hybrid bass. Oh, those guys are little. Look how little they are. And we've got a mini kind of topiary type thing. So cool, awesome basil there. Well, there and for me, this this is the best ride at Epcot. Species in the world, most Some of us cabbage. are familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. It makes you want to eat vegetables after you come on this ride. Maize, sorghum, and millet plus rice account for nearly two thirds of our global food consumption. Well, Learning how to increase the I found what I was looking for is an awful. important goal of research around the world. Look at the corn stalks back there. Those are gigantic. Wow. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like the eggplants. Look at all the eggplants. This is a great time of year, guys, to come and pesticides. Uh, Another I'm living with the land. A lot of stuff uh, growing. Like management program. By <laughs> like the the watermelon is growing in the sky. On harmful pests, like aphids and oh, I love it. We are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We are growing these crops using our neutral film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, oh, we got a little Winnie the Pooh area over here. This Look at this. That is adorable. And you got Rabbit's Garden behind it. That is so cool. What a great idea. Oh, look at the, uh, the pumpkin Mickey back there. And one of my favorite vegetables is technically a fruit. Look at all these tomatoes. Like Just look at them. And vegetable trees. <laughs> By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. And my arch nemesis, I can't grow cucumbers, but apparently they can do a little bit. And restaurants are at the land every year. And over here, they have like a little themed you know, Alice in Wonderland. I, I think they're going to start bringing, you know, some some IP into living with the land just for fun. Look at that. That's awesome. It's like the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this. Nothing like going on my favorite ride here at Epcot. I love living with the land. And it's so fun to go this time of year and throughout like the summer because everything starts growing more. So you're going to see bigger watermelons and pumpkins and stuff. So it's a great time to get out. Uh, but now we are at, where is it? Boom, Seasons. And we're gonna go grab the 
creamsicle milkshake and see how that is. So let's go get that right now. Did you have fun on Living with the Land? Of course I did. Yeah? Of course I did. <laughs> Are you ready to get the milkshake? I just told them we're going to get it. I just went and checked. They have it. They have it. So I was right. So I was right. My, my intel was correct. Let's get it. Yeah. All right. Get it. So here it is. I was correct. The orange cream milkshake. It's $8.99 and it has a Macron on top. So let's get wild. Let's get into this thing. I love a good cream pickle. So here she is. Oh, man, this thing looks awesome. We're going to try the Macron after, but this thing is filled to the brim and it's, it's going to so spill. Yeah. So I need to get that right there. Okay, here we go. Let's give this bad boy a test run. So it's orange cream. Oh, that is good. Mm. And you know what? When they handed it to me, I thought it was going to be heavier, but it's like light and like, fluffy. I can't oh, even, they call it a milkshake, okay. but it's not a milkshake. It's a, uh, I can't even, I can't even describe it. It's just really soft and light and fluffy. And yummy. And oh yummy. yeah, you have to take a bite. I'm going to, I'm going to take a bite of where it is on that. Look at that. Let me see. Oh, that is delicious. Ooh, is that triple layer or no? It's a <laughs> triple layer. Is that a triple Lindy? <laughs> triple, there you. That is yeah. delicious. Um, you put it back. <laughs> I put it back. Yeah. Like you'll never know. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. You'll never know, right? Um, this is a definitely get again. This is really refreshing. It's like light and fluffy. I gotta have Queen try this. I wanna see how she feels about it. It's my time to try it. Oh, it's, it's your time to shine, right. Queen. It's your time to try, shine. Try. Mm. Oh my God. It's like drinking clouds almost. I think you nailed it on the head. Like seriously. Because it's not heavy, it's not icy, it's not much mellowish. No, and, like, and it's not ice creamy. It's like, a, uh, like a milkshake can be a little an ice cream. Orange cloud, right? It's you an have, orange cloud you drink. You have to try this, this is really good. It feels like you're walking on clouds, right? On cloud nine? Mm. With the butterflies that just flew behind you? Flavor. I don't even know if that was in the camera. A little bite, a little bite of this one. Yep. Well, hey, somebody already took a bite out of that. <laughs> I also want to put it up. They'll never know. <laughs> this is a 10. A 10? You're giving it a 10? I'm also giving it a 10. This is something, so this is worth uh, getting over here, taking the trip over here to grab that little bad boy. Yep, that's a winner. Winner, winner, orange creamsicle dinner. All of a sudden, now we are in we're the Canadian in Pavilion. Canada. We are going to go and see the new merchandise. Canada has new merchandise. What? Are you kidding me? Canada and, merchandise. And we're gonna show you the nice waterfall. Oh. Canada have a bath. Have a little zen moment, you yeah, think? A little 10% on the on the vlog? All right, I'm down with that. So let's go check out some merch here in the Canadian Pavilion. And here we go into the North, <laughs> North, I can't even talk to that. Northwest. The Northwest Mercantile. Let's go see what's in here. Hopefully not all the new stuff is sold already. Here we are with some new merchandise. I'd rather be playing hockey. That's a pretty cool shirt here. $34.99. Then they have this Canada. What is that a lounge fly? It's down here. Let's look. It's not a lounge fly. Oh, it's a lug. It's a lug bag. Check this out. That is really cool. It's only one per person. One, yes, limit one item this, per. This thing has so many packages. It, it's almost like cargo pants. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's they almost like cargo like pants. Everywhere. That's really nice, and the material is really. Uh, I like the feel of the material. Yes. That's really it cool. It's like waterproof. <laughs> it's waterproof. <laughs> it's waterproof. But they had a Chippendale. They had a Chippendale lug. I wanted to show you guys, but I'm just gonna show you the picture. We're just gonna show you the they picture. Don't, they don't have any. But this right here was the chip. Well, it's actually chip. I don't know. It was a Dale on the other side, maybe. Yeah. Look but, at the sad uh, music because I. I know it is sad music. Yes, because uh, apparently so they apparently sold they out. Saw. They sold out. So we we're here a little too late, but we're still gonna show you this awesome spirit jersey. Look at that. 
Canada. You got the hockey puck world showcase. Oh, what? No, no way. Like a oh, my. Jersey. It's a hockey jersey. I think I might have to buy one of these. That is rocking, man. You're going to show them a chest, Drew? I'm going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one for the team. This is amazing. That's such. That's. I used to have a, sweat, a Bruins, a Boston Bruins sweatshirt that had this as well. Yes. Um, that's a really cool one, man. Ooh. I like that. I'm digging that. I can see that. I'm surprised those aren't sold out. <laughs> And then, uh, I guess this is new too. See, sweatshirt with that uh, hockey jersey type uh, type look there. There's always time for hockey. I love it. That is really cool. Very, very cool stuff. Brand new. Wow. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We did get to show you guys some new merch. Uh, we talked to the cast member. And the cast member did say there's a good chance that they are going to get, you know, another shipment in. Question is, when? We don't know. So they last a day and a half. A day and a half, day yeah. And a half. <laughs> they, th those uh, Chip and Dale lug bags, a day and a half, and they were gone. But we are going to the back here because we want to show you the beautiful, oh, the beautiful waterfall back here. And here she is. I don't know how loud it is, so I'm trying to speak up a little bit, but look at this. And if you want to cool off, all you got to do is go down yonder and you're going to get a little wet. And I think we're going to venture down there so you guys can see the waterfall from below. But this is a very, you know, underrated pavilion. We've said this many times uh, and a lot of people don't even know this is back here. So don't rob yourself. You got to get back here. Come on! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, wow! Look at this! So refreshing over here. You get right here, you can feel that cool air with the water. I'm telling you, Zen moment. Let's, let's stop for a, a 10 for that and enjoy this. Oh, yeah. You, you don't want to rob yourself. Come back here. Great photo walk. And you know what? I'm going to get a picture today. And it's going to go up on Instagram. I know. It's got a little river. I just realized the little river. You got little rapids going on. We can do some fishing. I know. You can do some fishing in here. If there was fish. I don't think there's any fish. But this, this area is so... Beautiful, wow. man. Wow. Just gorgeous. And the sound of water, it's so healing, you know? It's just, ah, love it. All right, that is going to do it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned things. Yes. I learned that a little back so well in a day yep. and a half. Yep, we did learn that. <laughs> like that. We also learned that the creamsicle milkshake, they call it a milkshake, it's not really a milkshake, uh, but it was delicious. Cloud. A cloud shake. It's an orange cream cloud Ooh, shake. They should have called it a... Well, that's what we're going to call we it. We should work for this name. Yeah, the yeah, everybody. Cream. No, no, but have everybody start calling it a cloud shake. So then Disney maybe will rename it. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Uh, but no, but thank you guys for checking out the video. We hope you uh, consider subscribing to the channel, moving that like, leaving a comment. And I don't know, maybe checking out one of our other videos. Yes, guys. So, uh, but guys, thank you for watching. Until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. Uno. It's in a moment with a bunch of beauty. Bye. Look at that. Woo.